You did a terrific job. I, I really love this movie. And first off, how do you make things look so effortless? Really, what's your secret? Um, uh, investment. Investment in the story and the character and the job to be done. Um, every scene's about something. And if, if you simply invest in that purpose and create character and, and behavior to help tell the story, it's, it really frees you of a lot of other uh, things you might make your obligation. Uh, so it, it's fun for me. Yeah. I love it. You, um, and working with other really good actors. That uh, helps. That does help, <coughs> for sure. Uh, Branch Rickey is a champion, really. I don't know what else to call him. He's an amazing person. And I wanted to know what it was about him that you connected with him personally to make you, know, make you want to fight for this role so bad. Um, you know, it, uh, the connection is emotional. It's not calculated on, on something you can, that you can identify for me. Uh, it's a human connection. It's a connection uh, uh, about the, the story that he's living and, and what his life means and, the, and what relationships, uh, how he, how he uh, formed relationship with, this, with the character of Jackie Robinson, with the person of Jackie Robinson, and how they each attended, to, you know, the, the combination of the two of them was what was intriguing to me. You went through an arduous uh, makeup process, I assume, and that, you know, incredible, the look. Those eyebrows alone, what did they do? Like, stitch them on? <laughs> I mean, for you to, to go through that makeup process was... We got it down to about half an hour every day, which was pretty good. Yeah. Well, no, I, 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 I really depended on the, on the people who did my makeup. It would have been no... Uh, uh, it would have been no service to the film to bring any notion of Harrison Ford into the character of Branch Rickey. Um, so I didn't, I didn't, I wanted to look like Branch Rickey. I get in the voice now too, like how much prep do you have to do or what did you study to get him down? Uh, uh, audio tapes of his, uh, of his voice and his, the way he delivered. Uh, he's a, he's a wonderfully colorful speaker. He might well have been a great lay preacher or, or a trial lawyer. Um, but uh, and he was very clear about uh, about uh, morality. He's a great character. Mm -hmm. uh, Chadwick uh, Boseman is just outstanding in this movie. He's wonderful. Really yeah. good, good actor, and he just portrayed Jackie so well. What was it like for you to work uh, opposite uh, this young man? And it was a uh, it was a pleasure, great pleasure. I greatly admire his. Uh, his conviction and his uh, willingness to do so much work to prepare himself as a baseball player, and then to 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 uh, on top of that to have developed at his young age uh, the talent and capacity that he has. He's he was wonderful to work with, and I really enjoyed it. We uh, were a few of us were discussing the movie after last night, and um, you know it astounds me that this was only sixty. Ago. I 60 think 60 years ago really that's nothing the racial yeah. injustices that you know that I just when you look at this and you watch this movie again it just you know your heart breaks you know how did it make you feel to just be it, part it, of this uh, made me feel good I, you know I think it was very important uh, to remind ourselves of the of both the injustice that we tolerated and the strides we made in redeeming ourselves and attending to the ideals that we that we uh, that we uh, uh, underpin our society, but don't always uh, um, meet our behaviors. So uh, it's a it's a lesson of uh, of uh, of a change in American society. I think if what if this hadn't happened in baseball, um, the civil rights movement would have been. Uh, further on down the road. So I think it's a really most, uh, important moment in uh, American history. And it's a story we need to remind ourselves of because uh, there are still things in American society uh, which need to be changed, should be changed. And maybe this will help give us the courage uh, to do that. I hope so. It's such a, such a good film. Uh, it looks like 2013 is going to be quite the year for Harrison Ford. you got a bunch of stuff coming up. And one thing I, want, I do want to ask you about is Ender's Game, because that to me sounds like it's going to be 
quite quite the film. And I was talking to Viola Davis not too long ago, and she said it took her three days to get over the fact that you were in the movie with her. Honest <laughs> to God, what was it like shooting that one? <laughs> uh, it was uh, it was very interesting. There are wonderful people involved. The young man who uh, plays Ender uh, is. Uh, wonderful. Everybody was really terrific to work with, including Viola, of course. Um, and uh, uh, I haven't seen the film yet, but uh, uh, I think it has a, a chance to be uh, an important movie. And I think people are really excited that you are going to be an Anchorman too. Uh, for for a moment, thank you. Yeah. A moment, thank you. If it's good enough. I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of stuff. What is it, Harrison, these days about when you get a script? that moves you, as I said, you know, this is unique, this one, but what now, you know, if you could just sit back on your ranch, have a good time, and not have to do anything, but we're so happy that you still are, but what is it that, that drives you now? I love to work. I love to work, and I, I love to work on the things, on the stories that I think have an emotional uh, core, things that are, that are human and interesting to me. Um, and uh, so I'm as excited about working as I ever was. Well, who's the director that changed your life? Biggest influence in your career? Oh, you know, I, every, every experience with, uh, of a film uh, uh, changes your understanding on the basis of more experience, uh, working with different kinds of people. Uh, I've learned sometimes more from directors who aren't as talented uh, than I have from directors who are greatly talented. Um, I think that the, you know, the most important thing is not to put yourself uh, uh, in the wrong role in something that, uh, where your energies aren't going to be um, sincere and uh, you, where you're not going to be ambitious. So does it excite you, the fact that we might just see you back as Han Solo? Is that something that excites you? Uh, I, I don't know uh, whether that's going to happen or not, but it's, uh, it, if it does, good. Oh, that'd be good for us. We'd be happy. Well, you did a spectacular job in this again. I can't tell you enough how much I Thank enjoyed you. this movie. And I know my dad is uh, going to be first in line at this movie, that's for sure. Congratulations right. to you, and always a pleasure to talk to you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Pleasure. Thanks. Thank you.